the back hatch is also stuck. I'll show you a picture of that from the inside. But there's little pinholes here that water's been running down and sticking the latch. This, however, is bad. Let me show you this. I've sprayed some oil in here just to see if that latch will work. The, uh, the catch is out right now. I'm just going to show you where I hit on the latch to get it to open. Take your punch and rest it on this bird's beak looking piece. And then drive it outwards, like towards the back of the vehicle. Make sure that you hold your latch open for it to pass those two teeth. Um, I fixed this latch. Check it out. I got that latch out of the ultrasonic cleaner, and it was still pretty stiff. I was able to grab it here with vice grips, take the spring off, and just work it back and forth underneath Simple Green. Well, now, check that out. Bam! Like butter. I used cable and chain lubricant to put that back in there. Look, I'm going to reinstall this, and that's one thing off the list. The good times are getting better. It's not working like it should. The sliding door latch works, but you can see back here, this hinge is not moving. And uh, I've got some pry marks on it already. I put uh, an adjustable wrench on here and tried to help it and got it a little way and then it popped off the track. Just the side of that screw makes me think this is going to be a fool's errand. So I'm going to throw everything I got at it right off the bat. This is valve grinding compound. And it helps get a screw that the head's just starting to wear on it. Sometimes you can put valve grinding compound on there. And it gives it some bite, some grit to stay in there. Also, this screwdriver here is an impact screwdriver. And you turn it the direction that you want to turn it. Now when you strike this with a hammer, it turns it just incremental like that. So you can apply forward pressure and turn at the same time. Let's give it a try. I don't know. Here's plan B. Get a cutting chisel. And I'm going to catch the edge of that screw and get a groove started on it. It's hard. And like the metal's hard. Untouchable screw. There it goes. Look at that. It's decking. Holy cow, I can't believe that came out. Look at that. It's like out of the Titanic. This worked last time, so take our punch and catch the head of the bolt and screw it. We're getting the groove in there. So now that I've got a line in there, 
I can angle this a little more. Not easy. It took about 10 minutes. We'll just tap, 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 tap. If you remember earlier, I was saying that this pivot point is not bending. So when you open the door, it can't clear the channel or the door frame. So I've got to pop it off its track here, which is going to be made easier by this being broken. The vinyl glide piece. Come out this way. Sweet. Yeah. She's frozen. I'm just gonna start like I did with the other hinge and put the whole thing in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner at the highest heat setting. Hopefully it'll warm that grease up, dried grease in there, select grease into something that moves and then i'm gonna order one of these i think bus depot had one of these for four or five dollars and it's got a rivet through there maybe a bolt will work well i got i got a lathe here i can make an aluminum rivet and redo that so stay tuned